and welcome back to my channel and happy March. Where is this year going? I actually pulled my March calendar out of my desk this morning and thought to myself, we're already in the third month of 2018, like where is this time going? I actually just announced on all my socials the next show that I will be doing. Titanic just closed uh, three days ago. It closed on February 25th and then I announced Two days later that my next show is going to be Annie at the beautiful Lincoln Theater here in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm going to be a soloist and an MC once again with the symphony for their annual spring outreach concert. It's something that I do every year, and essentially the symphony does a concert for every fourth grade student in a school district here to kind of get them into the strings and orchestra programs. It's a really great concert. The symphony is beautiful. And I just, I love doing an outreach for the kids that keeps music in these school systems. All right, so March is about to get really busy. I spent most of this morning just kind of putting everything into my calendar. I've got my teaching schedule in here, all my other side hustles, my YouTube filming schedule, and soon to be my Annie rehearsal. I haven't gotten that yet, but everything else is put into this planner. It's just easier for me to start the month knowing what kind of obstacles I have to tackle and what days are going to be more busy than others. And along with scheduling everything going on during the month of March, I also like to sit down and budget out my month. The current goal for this month is to go from severance to unemployment and budget the money that I am given and make it work without touching any of my savings accounts. Whoa. And not have it touch any of my savings accounts or emergency funds. Oh, challenge accepted. For me to accomplish this goal, the first thing I did was continue the no spend series. If you've been here since January, you know I have done a no spend January, which I implemented into February, and now plan to continue into the month of March and probably April and May. If you've missed that, I will link the playlist of all the videos up above in the cards. But every Saturday, I jump on a live stream and I share my week and I ask how your week is, and I live out of four specific envelopes and don't touch credit cards. It just helps me keep my spending in check. Other ways that I trim spending is I live off my stockpile. Again, another video I will link above in the cards. I did a big coupon haul. I got all the essentials and things I would need in one trip and it is all in my closet. And then I implement a few money saving hacks and habits. My favorite one that I wanted to share with you guys is I have two foundations. I have one that is for like special events, filming. It's a more pricey foundation. It's the Benefits Oxygen. Again, none of these are sponsored. I paid for all of these. I wish they were, but they're not. Yeah, the Benefit Flawless. This is my nice foundation for special events. And then my everyday, the cap is really dirty, is my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous. This is what I wear every single day. This is what I go through faster than anything else. So to make this last longer, I use half a pump of this foundation and then I mix it in with my current moisturizer. Again, not sponsored. But only using a half a pump of this foundation and mixing it in with a moisturizer makes the foundation last twice as long, still gives the coverage I need, and just essentially lets my makeup last longer. If you guys do want a video on like the makeup that I do keep, a minimalist makeup collection, and how I make it last as long as possible, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below saying that you would like to see that kind of video in the future. And the other habit I've been implementing is listening to a lot of audiobooks about minimalism and simple living, and I cannot tell you how nice it's been. It actually keeps me on the treadmill longer every single morning. If you didn't already know, I'm doing the couch to 10K running program. I'm currently on week three, but that program is a half hour long right now. And I want to walk on the treadmill for 60 minutes. So I do 30 minutes of listening to an audible book. I will have the current one I am listening to down below. Somebody actually uploaded it onto YouTube. So if you don't have audible and you want to listen to a free audiobook, it's down below. Again, reading all of these books really tells you how much society tells you you need to be happy versus how much you actually need to survive and be happy. Somebody recommended I do a decluttering video and I feel like that would be a good idea solely for the fact that it'll make me declutter all the rooms in my house. But if that's something again that you'd like to see, let me know down below in the comments. I am collecting a lot of your feedback and a lot of your requests and I'll tell you why later in this video. Right now my budget really just covers the basics. Things I wrote down this morning, my mortgage, my homeowners association or HOA fees, 
my electric and home bills, my no spend allowance, which is $80 a week, so $320 per month that covers food, gas, miscellaneous, personal, $80 a week, so $320 a month, insurance, and then I'm still contributing to emergency funds and retirement. It is my goal to continue to contribute to those funds even when I'm just receiving unemployment, severance, what have you. I feel like you should at least give what you can with the income that you have and I currently plan on continuing to give to both of those accounts. Some of you have asked and I can tell you I can do a budget with me video that I can do. What I cannot do is I cannot disclose exact amounts of severance and unemployment. There was a non-disclosure that basically prohibits me from talking about exact numbers just because I was not the only one laid off and it could really cause like a hostile situation even though me and those other people are not currently working for that company anymore. It was just something I agreed to. I'll make it nice and simple. But if you do want to see a budget with me, I can give estimates of income and we can go from there. But again, that's something that you guys have to let me know you want to see. I will be doing a video showcasing what I do not buy anymore during this life change. There's just a few things I think would be interesting. And it's been a really long time since I did my last like things I don't buy. I think it was things I don't buy fall edition, so I think we're a little overdue for that. And again, for those who are asking, I will continue doing the live streams each and every Saturday, letting you guys know how no spend is going. I've had a few questions like, what do I plan to do if like a wedding comes up or I have to buy a gift for a special event and we will cover those in future live streams. Even though today is kind of a gross and rainy, cloudy start to March, it's actually going to be a fun day because I'm taking you with me to Aldi. My friend Kelly over at Freedom and a Budget is a big fan of Aldi and she reached out to myself and a few other YouTubers and asked us if we would do a collaboration kind of video sharing our top five items that we buy at Aldi. So it gave me an excuse to go to Aldi and buy some favorites. Maybe not some necessities, but some favorites. Honestly, I tried to film at Aldi, but it was just a big rainy mess. So I decided I would just bring the groceries up here to my office and share with you guys my top five Aldi favorites. The other YouTubers participating in this collab will be listed down below in the description box. Please make sure to check them out at the end of this video. But without any further ado, these are my top five Aldi favorites. Can you guys read my bag? It says talk organic to me. My mom found it. It's really cute. There's so much in here. That's a lie. There's only five things. Okay, I need to put this on the ground. First up is this organic pineapple salsa. Now, I don't really care that it's organic. I just love this salsa. I use it all the time. I sometimes put it in salads. Sometimes I cut up cucumbers and dip them in this salsa. And then other times I just get out tortilla chips and watch sports and eat some chips on salsa. This stuff is really good and it is a lot cheaper than like Trader Joe's salsa and in my opinion tastes just as good. My favorite flavor again was the organic pineapple. They have like peach mango, they've got a bunch. Next on my list are these fit and active caramel or caramel corn rice cakes. These are great to just have in the morning if I don't really feel like scrambling eggs, but I still want something with a lot of protein that'll fill me up. I will have these either plain or with a little bit of peanut butter before my morning runs and they're just awesome. I think these were $1.20 today at Aldi can't eat that. I'm not used to putting groceries on my desk. Okay, this next one didn't go in the bag, but I'm a big fan of the, whoa. All right, I'm a big fan of the CeraVe like seltzer waters, those like flavored no calorie waters. And Aldi has their own version, the Bella V unsweetened sparkling water. You guys have seen these in hauls before. These also come in like lemon, lime, Grapefruit, actually grapefruit is my favorite flavor. I don't always get these, particularly when I'm trying to stick to a $20 a week budget, but because we're supposed to pick our favorites, I grabbed these today. These days, these are really a treat, but if you've not yet tried them, I highly recommend. Up next is something else that I haven't gotten in a few weeks time, just trying to stay in that $20 budget, but these are the Benton's Chocolate Chip Dunkers. These I initially found at Trader Joe's, not the same brand, but I found these like Dunker cookies at Trader Joe's. And they were like $5.99 for the same container. Pretty sure I paid $2 for this one. They are literally chocolate chip cookies that are designed to be dunked in your tea, milk, coffee, however you eat your cookies, and they are amazing. Not gonna eat one now. Oh no, one escaped. Where's that water? 
They are so good. If you have not yet tried them, I highly recommend. Last but not least is the spicy garlic pasta sauce. This pasta sauce is amazing. I know some people don't have like a favorite pasta sauce because it's kind of generic. I take this when I meal prep. I will cook the entire jar with a tablespoon of butter, salt, pepper, a sprinkling of sugar, Italian seasoning, and a little bit of hot sauce. Stir it all up, put it over noodles, over any type of pasta. This is amazing. I'd be very interested to try this as like a sauce on your pizza. I've not yet done that, but I guarantee you it will happen sometime in the future. Once again, this is the spicy garlic pasta sauce from Aldi. Cannot recommend this enough. So good. Once again, this is a collab with a few other YouTubers that will be listed down below. Kelly, thank you so much for inviting me to do this. I love any excuse to go hang out in an Aldi. But that is all for this quick video. Once again, please let me know what you would like to see in the future on this channel down below in the comment section. If I've not yet said this before, April is going to be live every day in April. I will be going live every single day. I'll make sure you guys know like what time, the topics, but speaking of topics, I want to know what things you guys want to be included. I have a few things to do, like a weekly giveaway. There will be some days I will have to live stream at the theater where Annie is, which is not a problem because the Lincoln is beautiful. But expect some live streams in like my dressing room or out in the theater. But once again, I want to know what topics you guys would like to see covered. It will be live each and every day in April, so I won't have any pre-recorded videos, but let me know if there's anything you guys would like to see, if we should do Q&A. You guys let me know, the floor is yours, but thank you guys so much for watching, and if you have not already done so, give this video a thumbs up, and if you are new here, click that subscription button down below. We upload here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and live streams on Saturday. Happy March! Let me know how this month is going to be going for you down below in the comments as well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!